record this. And so you're going to get a message on your screen saying this is recorded. You are in no way seen your images or image or names or anything. So just hit accept because um, I say so. I'm going to spend a moment looking you straight in the eye and being with you straight in your little pixelated lenses there. Happy Saturday. Greg here. And I am ready to do some frisky, fun, love, and yoga. Close your eyes for a moment. Drop your chin down comfortably. Relax into the common vibe together. Yogis have a name for the grooves in our consciousness. They're called samskaras. So we all have our individual ones, thankfully. But there's a common river that we all flow in called Sat Chit Ananda, the river of endless bliss, joy, love, and being. Let's just fall into that for a moment. Let go of cares and worries. Drop the rock. Let the buoy of your spirit float back up as we unweight ourselves of expectations I promise plenty of frisky movement. It's Saturday. Let's chant OM together to widen and deepen the groove in our brain together. Inhale. OM. Big inhale if you haven't taken it already. Exhale, let go of the story, the narrative of your life. The difference between who we think we are and who we are is pretty vast. Good, you can open your eyes and blinkity blink. By the way, the reason I'm recording is I take the classes and I shift them onto my new YouTube channel, which I will send you the link if you're interested. And that way, anytime during the week, three o'clock in the morning on Thursday, you can join me for a class. All right, let's just do our shoulders once before we stand up, up over and around and back. By the way, my YouTube channel is chock full of other playlists, including uh, my cookbook channel called Recipes for Disaster. Uh, there's yoga for the ruined and crushed. There's yoga for... Uh, Mirthfulness and joy, other way with your shoulders. You should see this YouTube site. I got some stuff on quantum physics and the question of quantum gravity. Seven, eight. Good job. Inhale to the top with me. Oh. Yoga is the cure to homelessness. My YouTube channel is filled to the brim. Okay, let's be outstanding in our field, shall we? Up we go. And as frequent, we'll start and dangle your bangle for about 30 seconds. Just letting your head hang and your drain brain and your hair shimmy and your wag shag and your dippity do pedaling your heels, getting your happy on. So happiness is an action word. So let's get into action. Straighten your legs as you will, feel something, inhale, look forward, bend your knees, exhale, deepen down, straighten your legs. One, two, three, and rise up, yokes. Start an uprising. And exhale out. Good, now arms out, feet wide, and right knee, left, right, left. 
Just kicking it. Feliz Año Nuevo. Two, one. Good. Feet out wide, hangy, slacky arms. Swing. Slap yourself silly. Bend your knees. Three, two, one. Good, and release that. Now your right foot forward onto your left toenails. I'm sorry, I'll Photoshop in the correct uh, foot. Left foot forward, how could I forget that? Onto your right toenails. One, two, I've got a new app on my iPhone. It tells me how to discern left from right. It's $4.99 if you want to get it. Other way, three, four ninety nine dollars a month. Five, six, seven, eight. Sink into your ankles. Tap your right knee three times if you are feeling it. Lace your hands, stretch up, and be a load-bearing member, holding up heaven from the top and keeping the earth in place on the bottom. Have your head in the clouds, like me, and have your feet on the earth, unlike me, and come up and out. And right foot forward onto your toenails, swirl your heel, count yourself eight times, then go the other way. I've come to the conclusion that people are so, who are sort of spiritual and, and religiously minded probably need to be a little more materially minded, and people other way who are materially minded could probably use to be a little more spiritual minded. So that's what I'm thinking. Seven, eight, and sink in. Lace your hands, press up. And tap your left knee thrice if you're in the mood. And come out, you guys. All right, let's get these necks going, these important channels between our head and heart. Drag your thumbs down the side of your neck. Welcome to the thousands of YouTube people who are watching this recording. Boy, if you are, boy, are you in the right place. You have found your teacher. Seven, eight, dig your thumbs underneath your jaw, smear your hands on your face. Dig your thumbs underneath your jaw, bro. Roto Rooter, your Vishuddha Chakra. Dig in there, good hold steady pressure. Oh, now there's a little button in there that pops your head off. Yeah, like a champagne cork. God, that'd be fun. Good, drop your chin, take your head around eight times. One, two, relax your shoulders. Three, this is where the elite meet to lose their mind. Five, six, Seven, eight, one, two, three. One of the best parts of my classes, you should never have to count to more than eight. Six, seven, eight. Relax your head down for 19 seconds. Feel your feels. Let your attention drop out of the seeming command center of your brain and sink more toward the center of your body, the real center, the gut brain. Feet sink into the loamy earth, shoulders relax, brain drains. Good. Now, face back up, feet hip distance apart, amber waves of grain, down and up, Ripple, sink down into joints, rebounce up through them, be a beautiful blend of rhythm or rhythm and balance. Three, two, one, inhale for an O. Oh, push it out a long time. Oh.
I see your own is as big as mine. Inhale. Dark helmet in space balls. Exhale out. Place your hands behind your back. Heels in, toes out, slightly wider stance. And uh, head and caboose on the floor at the same time. Head and caboose down, arms all the way over. Inhale, look forward at your bright future. And smack your head on the floor, sit on your kangaroo tail. Get down, it's Saturday. Inhale, come up, yogs. Now release, fling, ing, 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 and angel wings to the side. And we don't need proof of God, we need poof of God. So up your back, behind your neck, and poof. And up your back, behind your neck, and poof. Or as I like to say, if you look strenuously enough for the absence of God in the universe, you will certainly find it. We don't need proof. We need poof. One more. And you pretty much look what, pretty much find what you're looking for. Exhale and release out. Very good, you guys. Now feet hip distance apart. You'll note this is a second sequence of shoulders, but not only does it feel good, it's a nice alliteration, a secondary sequence of shoulders. Five, six, seven, okay, other way. If you're new to this, this is called joint juice. It's going through all the joints of the body in sequence, getting out congestion and stiffness and accretion of emotional trauma. Eight, good job. Roly poly your wrists. Go side to side a little bit because it's funner. -er. It's all about fun on Saturdays, isn't it? You've been toting that barge and bailing that hay all week long. Other way with your wrists. I hate toting barges. Take your hands, flippy, make them make noise. Shake, shake, floppy flips, heck of fast, fast as you can. Cup your hands at your heart, drop your chin, close your eyes. We are calm and peaceful souls. Good, relax your arms now and inhale to the top. Lace them up, feet together. And what are affectionately known as twinkie toes when you stand up on your tippy toes. While you're on your toes, open your nose up really wide. Breathe through big nostrils. Way up. I predict you will, um, nostril damos. Way up on your tippy toes. I've never met a pun I didn't like, and I've delivered some others don't like. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, stay up on one, stretch up, and close your eyes. Balance on your tippy toes. Generally a little more challenge to balance in the dark. And drop your heels, knuckles on your head, open your eyes, tilt left. First side bend, we'll do somewhere between five and eight, depending on what I remember. Inhale up to the right, lean in, lose your mind, let go of extrapolating into an imaginary future. Inhale up and stretch and release out. Hands on your hippages, feet out wide, toes in. Start a revolution. Spinning hips.
Watch the world. Six, seven, eight, one, two. On my new YouTube page is a playlist of six minute talks called Six Minutes to Enlightenment. If you're interested, they're bold and brash and provocative and probably frequently wrong, but when you know what's wrong, you're closer to what's right. Seven and eight. Inhale up, you guys. Lace your hands behind your head. Feet out a little wider, toes in, heels out, push up. Now, I want you to be that uh, Da Vinci man. Stretch up and lean left. Inhale, starfish is to the right. Hips stay in the center, grip your feet. Inhale, kids, and release out. Why do I call you my kids? Because I have none of my own, so I adopted all of you guys. Now, out a little wider, feet parallel, hands behind your back, laced. Come over the top and just maybe get your head down on the floor, maybe not with your legs straight. Everybody's welcome in this class. Good, now bend your knees, inhale, look forward, inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, head down, push the air out. One, straighten your legs. Two, don't breathe. Three, and bend your knees. Inhale, look forward, the soft, happy part. Exhale, deep and down, head on the floor, straighten your legs, arms over. One, two, three, and come up, yokes. Release out. Inhale. You know it's coming. Oh, make noise, be heard in the world. talking a lot about the benefits of extending the exhalation out to build a calm and confident nervous system. Release out. Good job, you guys. Step in together and place above your knees down into the right. I've got a knee that's a little tender, so I got to kind of make smaller circles. You can come down and scrape your butt on the floor. In fact, I'd be enthralled. Regale me with your butt scraping, with your heels on the floor. Seven, eight, other way. The key is flat feet and a willingness for fun. Be happy for no apparent reason. That's my tombstone. Come up. Was happy for no apparent reason. Was frequently miserable for a host of reasons. Exhale out. Now, my feet aren't all the way together. Come on, feet. This is where the elite meet to align correctly their feet. Arms down, left arm in front, palms in. Clap for me. You got to ask for what you want sometimes. Inhale up. Stretch up. Tip your toes, being pulled out of quicksand by helicopter or what I like to call Mel Gibson pose. For some reason, he's tortured in most of his movies. So this pose reminds me of Mel Gibson, way up on the tippy toes, and close your eyes. We are calm and balancing souls. Open your eyes, drop your heels, lean left. This is the yoga class for everybody else, not all the fighter pilots who go over to Berkeley for yoga and hang out with the paparazzi. Inhale up. To the right. And inhale. And arms down, flip over, Uttanasana, forward fold, hang your head. Now bend your knees, inhale, look forward, soft and bendy. Exhale, deepen, push the air out, hold it out. One, go deeper, two. Three, bend your knees, look forward. 
Exhale, push the air out, even grab your ankles, bring your head down. You can suffer with me. Three, two, one. Come up, Yokes. Up you go. Inhale. And regular exhale. Don't worry, I'll call out the oming, but you can always ohm on your own because you're at ohm, you're at ohm. And right arm in front. Pause in, clap for yourself. Sometimes you have to acknowledge yourself. Pull, arms up. Now arms forward. Now drag your face through your biceps. Ding, 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 ding. And tip your toes. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, eight, six, four, two, and stay up on zero. Stretch, you got, you always hold a couple extra centimeters of extension and reserve. Stretch, drop your heels to the right, lean in, lean mean, leaning machines. Inhale, at this point, approximately 15 minutes to 20 minutes in, we should be pretty much stream of consciousness not really thinking, just being, arms up, arms down, flip over, live stream of consciousness. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, push your heels down, butt up, breath out, hold it out, go deep, one, two, three. Bend your knees, lift your heels, look forward, bend your knees, lift your heels, soft. Exhale, fierce yogis down. One, two, no breathing. Three, inhale, come up. You can always go deeper when you get the breath out and then hold it for three seconds. Scientifically proven by scientists who are always right to make you more flexible. Thank God science, scientists are always right because it's proven throughout human history that science has been right in all of their conclusions. Thank God, inhale. The scientific method is infallible. The science itself is highly fallible. Place your hands down here, inhale, pull up, turn your hands over your throat. Inhale, and lean left. And up you go. To the right. And up kits and release out. Arms down, hands in front of the heart. Big inhale. Down, twist to the right, left elbow outside your right knee. Left hand on the floor for bendy bears, hands in prayer for stiffy bears, knees forward, heels down. Somebody's pushing on your back, squeezing you, which feels a lot like your life, doesn't it? Somebody's pushing you, squeezing you, compressing you. But all that does is increase your elasticity, your buoyancy. Get down, you guys. Lift your toes. Rock back into your heels. This is where the elite meet to crouch on their feet in order to build heat and drop your hands. Come up, yogis. Inhale. I just want to get to the push-ups. And exhale down into your left, right elbow, elbow super outside your left knee, parivrita ukatasana, twisty squeezy pose. Right hand on the floor, left arm up for the bendies, hands in prayer for the stiffies. Now, when you're in compression, lift your intestines from the inside and lift them and move your guts over to the left. You'll note that you'll drop more and more. Sink, you guys. Weight even over the feet, knees line up, face down. We are calm and compressed souls. Exhale, drop your arms. Inhale, come on up, yo, whoa, 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 geez. Big inhale for an ohm. Oh, stars and stripes as I almost pass out, I love it. 
comes to the doors of perception, inhale. I like being in the door jam. And exhale out regular. Okay, wide stance, pretty wide. The distance between your heels of one of your legs, good luck figuring that out. And then get on the horse with me, because on Saturday we stay strong. So horse builds um, hoarseness. Spine straight up and down. Tailbone tucked under, tummy firm. You could beat on your tongue and there would be an echo from your six pack abs. Then you laced your hands south of the border down here near uh, Bolivia, I think. Come up near the equator, turn your hands over and up to the North Pole with your hands and be a hieroglyph, be strong. If you need to get off the horse, get right back on. Shoulders relaxed, breathe from your belly, find a gaze point and we'll hold this for 28 minutes, 28 seconds, sorry. Sink in, if you can't do this for very long, boy, have you found the right class because you gotta be able to do the horse, otherwise your lower body is beginning to disintegrate and yogis have a distressing saying, you die from the feet up. As the prana starts to say, we're out of here, man. Let's go build a new nervous system someplace else. Arms down. Stay in the horse. Inhale to your heart. Simhasana, tongue. Inhale, pull in. Press down. Straighten your legs, feet parallel. Lace your hands behind your back. Head down on the floor. I'm serious, except I'm not. Get down. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward, saw. Exhale, push the air out, straighten your legs, suffer with me. Three, straighten, two, one, one more. Inhale, bend your knees, it's the happy part. Exhale, yawn, head on the floor, butt up, legs straight, no breathing. Three, deeper, two. Oh, come on up, yogis. Inhale up. Regular exhale. Happiness ensues. Hands at your heart. Drop your chin. Close your eyes. You might see some inner fireworks going on, some vibration. I see prana vibrating behind my eyelids. It's either that or a Pretty big flashback from the 70s. I'll take them when I get them. Okay, jump or step your feet together. Okay, and then palm trees out in their fields going left and right with internal rotation of their arms, extending way out, yet keeping their roots rooted. Side side. Good, now pray behind your back with your paws or grab your elbows or grab your wrists. Tuck them in, tuck them little babies in, push your thumb mounds together for you friends who aren't. Turn your face to the right, tilt right, tilt a little more. Inhale, just follow the flow, face left, tilt left. We're all getting in the same river together. The current is taking us so that we're current. Inhale up. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold with prayer mitts. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. You know what we're gonna do. Exhale, push the air out, keep it out, go deep. One, hormesis, intentional suffering. Two, three, bend your knees, intentional happiness. Soft and slacky. Exhale, heels down, butt up, legs straight. Three, head down. Two, no breathing. One, come up. Come on up. And super extra juicy back bends. Lean back, head on the floor for circus performers, feet rooted.
Inhale, beautiful yogis, come out of situation. Take mitts out of bondage. Up to the top. I'll call out the ohms. This is not one. Arms out. Now, turn palms up, just lean back. On exhale, fling right arm under, hold them up. Right knee over your left, Garvagasana. So my left knee is a little wangy, so I'm just using my right toenails as a balance thing. You guys lift your right foot and sling it behind your left ankle. Crouch down as low as you can. Crouching tiger, springing. Happy bar of pose. Elbows up, wrists away. You lose your balance, quit yoga because you're probably should just quit, but then start again in the next millisecond. You can quit yoga as much as you want, as long as you keep starting again in the next millisecond. Three, two, one, and release out. Inhale up to the top. And exhale. Now bring your right knee up as high as you can. Grab your right knee and pull it up or just hang on to it. Bring it up as high as you can. Now cross your right ankle over your left knee and sitting on the bus, sitting waiting for the bus pose. Now remember the left foot stays flat and you crouch down as much as you can. Good for ankles, knees and hips and everything else. Chest up, hands in prayer. Good, now hands down and straighten your left leg, come over the top of it, butt up. And as you might imagine, bend your left knee, look forward, soft. Exhale, push down, air out, no breathing. One, go deep, let's get some results. Two, three, good. Now come up out of situation, keeping your right foot where it is. Come in balance. Take your left hand and grab your right foot behind your behind. Right hand on the floor, right knee up to the ceiling as high as you can get it. Kiss your left shin, right knee points to the ceiling. If you had a laser beam on the right kneecap, the dot would be on the ceiling as you turn your knee up, huh? Yeah? Good, now both hands down, extend your right leg back. Take your left arm up, Parivrita Ardha Chandrasana, turning to the left, extending your head forward and your heel back. Turning, 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 turning. Left hand down, right arm sweeps up. Just do what you can. This is the yoga for the everybody else, for everybody. Both hands down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bring your right foot in for a landing. Deepen down, three breaths in Uttanasana. Try to forget what just happened. Exhale, all the air out, yokes. Come on up with a gigantic, long, expanding inhale for a delicious ohm when we get to the top. You guys sound great today, even though you're muted, I heard your vibrations coming down my street. Exhale out. Good, now fling your arms out to the side, way wide, pull back, that's inhale. On exhale, fling your left arm under, hold them up if they do, take your left knee over your right. Now mild, because I teach mild, medium, and spicy, and frequently do mild myself. Just keep your left toenails on the floor. Pick up your left foot for medium, strong, hook your ankle behind the other one. Elbows up, wrists away. 
I'm on a mission from God to translate the impossible aesthetics of strong yoga to us mere mortals. So I'll meet you halfway up the mountaintop. Scrunch and burn and cook. But now fling your arms out, fling. Now, this knee won't allow me to grab it, so I'm just going to bring it up to here, but you grab your left knee and pull it up as high as you can. Stand up as high as you can. Maybe hook your left elbow around your left knee. Maybe your right elbow around your left knee. So this is where I humanize yoga by having a hitch in my get-along. It's something I can't do. So that's like every human in the world at various times. Ankle over the top and sit at the bus stop. Go as low as you can, as long as your right foot is flat, long spine. Good, now hands in prayer, Buddha balance pose. Try to be as upright as you can, way more than me. Sometimes I'm the example, frequently I'm the warning. That's why I have the fastest growing YouTube yoga channel in the world, because everybody says we can do this, that other stuff with the 23 year old circus performing people wearing spandex, I can't do that. Hands on the floor, deepen over the top of your right leg. Inhale, bend your right knee, look forward, soft. Exhale, suffer with me. Three, two, go down. One, good job, you guys. Now, gather up your aplomb and dignity, stand up and out and grab your left foot with your right hand. I wonder if I can do that on this side. I'm just gonna grab left hand down, point your left knee up to the ceiling. I gotta be real gentle on this side. Left knee up to the ceiling, you guys, all the way. Laser pointer attached to left knee points up. Good, now release your left foot. It straightens and goes back. You turn strongly from your ripping strong core, right arm up, head forward like a unicorn. Good, right hand down on the floor. Pleased to be sweeping your left arm up and lift that left leg, turn the hip open, stand up with across the line of your arms, three, Two, one, left hand down, left foot comes in for a landing. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees, lift your heels, exhale, grab your ankles, come down, one, head down, two, three, come up, yokes. Inhale for a nearly expiring ohm. Oh, hands to your heart, close your eyes, lose your mind, please lose your mind with me, out beyond right thinking and wrong thinking, there's a field, I'll meet you there. Everybody's got their opinions. God does not judge. God does not have an opinion. God does not hate my enemies. Be convenient if she did. Melt into the ethereum of existence. Feel extremely grateful for no apparent reason. Grateful just because we can experience gratitude. If that's not enough, then nothing else will suffice. Good. And this is where the elite meet to have a seat on their seat and get off their feet. Whew. Whew. All right, I'm going to fan myself with my Flintstone fan here. You should always take a little respite.
That's why I always have emergency coffee nearby because one time a doctor diagnosed that I had too much blood in my caffeine stream and recommended a near constant coffee drip. This also sets me apart from most YouTube yoga teachers. They're like drinking lemon water. I'm drinking Joe, baby. Okay, where are we? 11.51. We got about 20 more minutes. Let's make good use of it. What do you say? Come down and we'll do, come down and calm down. We'll do a little yin after, after all that yang. Americans don't say yang, they say yang. How's your yang and your yin? Spread your hands open nice and wide, waddle your butt, relax your hair, lose your marbles. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, go down for three. One, two, three. Come up, beauties. My endogenous morphines are gushing today, you guys. They are all over everywhere. I love endogenous dolphins. Hands wide, come on down. I love finding my inner swimming flippers that cavort through my neuronal pathways. Now put one paw on top of the other one, put either ma or paw on top and waddle side to side. And then jam your head down to the floor in between your arm bones, unless you're a stiffy person. And I remember this class is for everybody. I went to a yoga class once and I quit because it was too hard and I was intimidated and everybody was perfect. I've heard that like 90,000 times in my life. Inhale, come up. There's a yoga for everybody. Inhale, we're not going to ohm. I would always let you know unless I decided to surprise you, which is frequently. Oh, I'm here to comfort the disturbed and disturb the comfortable. Stand your pins out. Of course, my new YouTube channel will have all of my Gregisms, my little sayings on t shirts that you could purchase for terribly inflated price. Press up. Don Dasana. This pose is named after the great yoga sage Don Knotts. So it's called Don Knotsana. Bend your knees, lean forward. I'm sure the YouTube yoga police will probably arrest me for blaspheming the various yoga sages. And push out through your heels, stretch up really tall. Now be the perfect blend of firm and soft, passive and active, engaged and detached. Pause down, feet in for extra rump lifting pleasure. Lift up, bottoms up, cheers for rears. Higher, higher, and stay up. Sink down, kitty cats, on your back, legs up, legs out, the splits, ankles, five, four, three, two, one, other way, two, three, four, five, point your toes like ballerinas. Slightly bend your knees, slightly bend your knees. That's inhale. Exhale, push out through your heels, dorsiflex your ankles, straighten your legs as hard as you can. Three, two, one. You can do anything for three seconds and lift up your head. Now grab me, you guys, grab me, grab me, grab your legs, rip them out, lift up, fingers on the back of your head, 10, crunches, Eight, six, 
four, I'm tired of being odd, I've decided to be even, two, and one, and one, and bend your knees, brings them in, grab a big toes, elbows inside your knees, got to get this to try this out of the way. Now it's exactly in the way. I'll Photoshop this out. Now my coffee's in the way, that won't do. There we go. All right, now I grab my toes. Now, head down, knees on the floor, relaxing tail feathers, happy baby pose. Good kids, now lift up your head so we can see each other. The knees are bent, everything is soft and slacking. And you know what we're gonna do, inhale. Exhale, straighten, rest your head down. One, two, yes, we're open. Three, bend your knees, lift up. Exhale, drop head, drop butt, straighten legs, you probably can't. One, two, three, and lift up your head, bend your knees, bring your knees in together all the way, elbows outside your knees. Squeeze your knees in together. Inhale here, exhale, head down, butt down, straighten, Urdhva, Paschimottanasana, one, two, three, happiness breaks out all over, the forest echo, laughter, bend your knees, roly-poly, guacamole up, stick the dismount, which I barely did, I had a bit of wobble, but I photoshopped all that out, gonna get really good on Photoshop, you guys. Good, grab your big toes, inhale, and blossom. Stretch out, now bring them in together, balancing on your tail feathers, Paschimottanasana. Now bend your knees, arms out, now squeeze your knees together and pull your knees into your collarbones. You may not like this, sorry. Good, now wrap underneath your knees and re-wrap a couple of times. Re-gift yourself. Oh, pull all the way in. So the knees are to your nose. And let's just do this for a second. How's your pedicure? Om Mani Pedicure Om. Inhale. And straighten your legs, but you can't because you're too tight, but you're trying. One, two, three. I can't do it either, but I'm, I am doggedly determined. I am the pit bull attached to the Achilles tendon of yoga. And feet down. Now grab your heels, pull them all the way into your bottom, which I can't. Wrap again on the outside of your shins. Rewrap a couple of times, like a Tupperware container. Rewrap. And if you can, grab your feet by crossing your wrists. Float your head up, drop your chin, close your eyes. Now say the mantra out loud. We are calm and peaceful souls. We're building a new samskara, a new groove in our brain. It's a groovy groove. And release, slide your booties back. Now in advance, put your toes on the floor. We're gonna do a counter pose. Hands back here, chest up. If you can't lift your butt, boy, have you found the right class. You just try, otherwise, bottoms up. Toes on the floor, ankles in, head back. Strengthening pose. We're almost to the push-ups and planks. So this is a variation of plank. And sink down, kitty mittens. Inhale to the top. An ohm is coming. Oh. Why don't 
to hear the worst noise ever? Props to Jim Carrey. We are calm and peaceful. We're absurdly happy for no reason. It's 12 o'clock high, so just note this propitious moment in the arc of our day. In 2022, we're going to remember to pause several times throughout the day, seemingly randomly, just to feel the presence and the power and the glory, not the contents of consciousness, its context. This will give us proper perspective in the world and make everything in the world so much more fun. Okay, now before we do our push-ups, I wanna do some displacement behavior because I'd like to put it off as long as possible. So we'll just wag our knees a couple of times. Wagulate your knees. Wag, wag. Good, now keep wagging unless and until you can straighten your arms by pushing down, drop your chub, make ujjayi, throaty, whispery, seashell, sexy sound at the back of your throat. Get on top of your sit, sit bones. One of these knees, the knees will pull all, push all the way down or something will give. Good yogis. Okay, I put push-ups off for as long as we can. So you know the deal. You're on the honor system. Push-ups can be done on your knees. You can use blocks. There's a host of ways to do it. But the main thing is, is you, you just take action. I'm going to shoot for my personal best, 20 push-ups, regular style. Maybe you do five push-ups on your knees if you did four last week. I'll see you in about a minute. Good, one, downus stagus from the Latin for downward facing dog. Try to forget that just happened. Try to get your heels down like I can't. Maybe pedal him if you're stiff as a boiled owl. Drain your brain. We did it, you guys. Set two coming up, just kidding. Good on your hands and knees. Now flip your hands around backwards with external rotation. And gatos y vacas, por favor. Ride the wave. Ride the kundalini in your spine, whatever the hell that is. Most people who talk about kundalini have no idea in the universe what they're talking about, but it sure sounds good. Now round up into your best cat, fold your toes under and you guys know my toes don't fold. And then with your toes folded under, sit back on your heels and lean into your wrists. Suffer productively. Productive suffering leads to less and diminished suffering in the future. Good, now turn your paw parts forward. Oh, geez, man. Okay, then on your front parts. Waving at you, wave back, hi. Good to see you. I feel like $100, you guys. I'm on sale today, just $100. Okay, we'll do plank for one minute, and then we'll wind down with some extra greasy, extra super endorphin yoga. So, do you like palms down or do you like lacing your hands? You can do it on your knees just by lifting your tum and your bum. That's absolutely fine. If you can, fold your toes under unless you're like me and you can't. And we'll lift up for 60 joy-filled seconds. Let the fun begin, you guys.
Try to distract yourself, think about anything else. Now is the time to start thinking and using your abstract mind to extrapolate forward into an imaginary future. Try to, as Eckhart Tolle's alter ego says, try to get out of the now as much as you possibly can and get into the then. Be a then master, halfway done. Just gets gooder and gooder. Tommy firm, heels back, head forward, strong arms. Plank is the best. 15, 14, 30, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 50, 50, 4, 3, 2, Uno, come on down, kids. Oh, geez. Now, donor party of seven, crawl forward as far as you can. Uh, left arm, right arm, stretch it out. Okay. And then back on your butt. Sit with me. I spun around three times before I sat because. I watched a dog do that once. I thought it was clever. All right. Okay, now wind down with me a little bit. Left, left ankle out, righty over the top. Now if lefty shin folds under, please do. Now really, I wanna, I wanna settle the affair a little bit because I'm all out of breath. <laughs> Just kidding. I am. This is nothing compared to what I do in my practice. Right arm over the top, hands relax, float your head up, level your chin, close your eyes, tip of the tongue on the roof of your mouth. Feel the cosmic river of Apana, A-P-A-N-A, -A, the Vayu of grounding, rooting, stabilizing, connecting energy flow top down. From your head down through your red chakra at the bottom, helping you to feel serene, equilibrated, serenitized, and pacificated. New words. I really need this pose because I tend to be a little flighty. Good, now open your eyes. Take your thumbs in underneath your big toe metatarsals. Dig in there so we get some vision out of this class. Should be a spicy, exhilarating and provocative point. Hold steady pressure. Drop your chin, close your eyes. Now chant a smooth, quiet ohm with me. Oh. You guys sound literally heavenly. Now, right knee slurps in, slurp. And left elbow hooks in front. If you're kind of a moving along bear, right hand on the floor, left arm up. If you're an advancing bear and turn right, elbow outside your knee, left forearm up if you want. Reach down and grab, hmm, what will I grab? I think I will grab my left knee today. Turn to the right for half Lord of the Sardine poses and right arm behind you if you don't need it. If I lifted my right hand, I would probably fracture my skull from smashing down. So hold here. Now turn your face all the way to the left and look like Greta Garbo for a sec. Pull your tummy in, it'll naturally shift to the right when you make some space in your guts. Inhale hither and release thither. Now, uh, righty leg out, lefty leg out, right ankle over. We just did that side, that would be foolish. Left ankle over the top, 
Now, right shin may or may not fold under, fully optional for modern yogis. Let's do Yogasana together. Yo, yo, yogasana, left forearm on top. Dorsiflexion of your wrist, no, no. Palmar flexion, yes. Shoulders pull up, no, no. Shoulders relax, yes. Chin level, eyes closed. Tip of the tongue on the roof of your mouth. Drop into the river of Sat Chit Ananda, the great river underneath our peculiar personal and bizarre little sub rivers that we run in. Sooner or later, all of our little sub tributaries run into the big one, but sure is fun to wipe out in the rapids of your own existence for a little while. Feel that grounding, rooting, I'm always connected, I'm never apart, I'm always part of this gig, no matter how much I may believe otherwise. It's just an appearance of separation, there's no such thing in truth and in spirit. You can take a drop out of the ocean, it'll always be water. Good, now take your thumbs into the middle center bottom of your foot. Do that same massaging thing. Try to push your thumb all the way through your foot. Just kidding, unless you can do it. Hold steady pressure, drop your chin, relax your shoulders. Chant a soft, smooth ohm with me. Oh. Good, finishing twist on this side consists of bringing the left knee in. Stiffy bears will try to get their right elbow around and that will be great progress. The other animals in the forest will applaud. Right arm up, lean back into your left elbow. Exhale, turn left. And if your elbow gets outside your knee, it's a bit of a milestone, but trust me, it goes off into infinity from there. Right arm up. So I'm kind of trying to get a hold of my right knee again in this pose after many years of not being able to do it. So I note that I'm struggling too much. So I'm just going to grab my right foot instead. I'm going to lengthen my spine and turn my spine to the left. And then I'm going to rotate my face to the right. So I've got myself going every which way, but loose. Close your eyes. Wear your calm and detached demeanor. All the world's going on over there to the left, but you're, you've turned your other cheek, you've aimed your attention away from the maelstrom, the cacophony, the endless caterwauling of the world. Inhale and release out of this. And I invite my beloved friends onto their back for five minutes for extra integrating Shavasana. Good job, you guys. I'm going to just hold space, which doesn't sound like much, does it? But I'm going to float off into the ether and meet you guys in that field out beyond opinion and judgment. Wiggle your legs out. Let's go through the checklist of bliss. Wiggle legs. Widen ankles an inch or two for a skosh more room. Lift up your left butt cheek and your right butt cheek. Get any dents out of your undercarriage. Left shoulder blade, right shoulder blade. Try palms up and palms down. Go with the one you like the best. Relax the back of your neck. Swallow once, circle your jaw. Maybe let your lips part a little bit as the facial expression dissolves and resolves. Eyes roll back, hair is soft. And I'm gonna come put a chalk line around you like a corpse. And let the ecstasy commence.
peace on earth, goodwill to all creatures, large and small, fleshy, furry, and feathery. So in every moment, we're both the ocean and a drop of the ocean. Right now, we're habituated into thinking we're the drop. That's okay. Remember, you're the ocean as well. They are inseparable. They are indestructible. The drop will always be the drop. The ocean will always be the ocean. And their eternal co-mingling is bliss, joy, and ecstasy. Good, now relax deeper for just a moment and I want you to literally perceive your larger body, your Anandamaya Kosha, the body of bliss that's not constrained or delimited by your body. That's eternal, was never born, will never die. That's the ocean that's always, always our context. Good, now wiggle your fingers and toes and withdraw and circulate that beautiful expanded energy into your physical body. Nice deep breath. Draw your knees in, curl onto your right side. Love all over yourself. It's our New Year's evolution. Love your quirks, love your foibles, love your defects, love your shadow, love your humanity. Good, and with eyes closed, we'll sit up all being in the same vibrational state together. Even though we're sitting up all in our own physical drops, we feel that larger inner penetration of consciousness pulsing, vibrating through us. I hope you feel that. It sure feels good. I would share as much of it with you as I can. Hands to the heart, head bows. Holy, sacred, and reverent. Thanks to the infinite one who brings us all together, who shall remain nameless. All together we say, Namaste.